Here's another message for you guys. Protestants get said that we're wrong by Orthodox and Catholics on a, a constant basis because we base everything off Scripture and not tradition. But the Scriptures by Matthew, Luke, John, Paul, and the rest of them would have not been written had they not meant to get the gospel past Israel. I heard Bishop Emmanuel, whom I respect so dearly, I do, but I heard him the other day say that, that the Christians of the West need to come back to their roots in the East and learn. We need to learn their ways. We need to learn about intercession with Mary and, and Peter. No, no, no. Bishop, I'm sorry you're wrong. I'm sorry you're wrong. Because the stuff in the Catholic and the Orthodox churches are traditional stuff that's been passed down through generation after generation, and there's no telling who changed it. There's no telling who's changed it throughout the years. But the Holy Bible is eyewitness accounts. So of course we follow the scripture. We, this is all that matters. This is eyewitnesses. We don't find random books in Jerusalem and throw them in there either. We have the original Holy Bible and that scripture to Protestants means more than anything because the people that wrote this Bible were eyewitnesses to Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church's traditions has changed over the years. So has the Orthodox in the East. Tradition means nothing to Jesus Christ. What is written is written. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Bishop, we would all just stick to the scripture and quit worrying about tradition and quit wearing robes, then maybe we can bring more people to Christ. Maybe. I respect you, Bishop. I do. A lot of your teachings are true, but that is one that is not. Father, I hope my people stay as one so the world may know you sent me. I don't know what that means to you in the Orthodox or the Catholic branches of the church, but to me, that means he is the only way, the only intercessor, the only person we should be praying to, the only one that can pull us out of the pits of hell, the only one that can make us alive again is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And it saddens me and it disheartens me that we worry more about tradition when the Catholic Church in the Vatican has a rainbow flag hanging up now. That's offensive to Jesus, and I'm not talking about the rainbow from Noah's Ark. I'm talking about a different type of rainbow the world's made now. 